Ladies and gentlemen, the editor-in-chief at Car and Bike, Siddharth Vinayak Patankar. Good afternoon, everyone. It is the 2021 Car and Bike Awards. We are so glad that you're here. And I know it's not easy getting so many people into a room these days, so thank you. In fact, we've taken extra care and a whole lot of precautions to make it that much safer for you. So you might notice that a huge tradition from our awards is missing today. Yep, that's right, there are no cars or bikes in here. The idea was we wanted to make more room so that all the tables can be more spread out. And we have that kind of seating. Now, what a year it's been, people. What a year. One that you and I will not forget. One that will stand out as the crisis that our generation had to grapple with. So on behalf of all my colleagues at Car and Bike, and indeed the media and the consumer alike, thank you for doing what you do and keeping it so kick-ass. Thank you. Thank you also for being here today. We promise you some excitement, some truly deserving winners. Oh, and I mean truly deserved, not pre-reserved. No one brand will dominate this one, folks, but we are still Indian, mind you. So I don't make any promises to ensure that all of you are kept happy this afternoon. Our wonderful hosts, the JW Marriott here, will do that. And um, that's not what we do. We don't, we're not in the business of keeping people just happy at an awards show. We play fair, we play clean, and we play with honor. So welcome, folks, to India's most credible automobile awards, and let's get this show on the road. To take you through the first set of awards, please welcome Ameya Naik, and joining him are all the extra kilos he put on during the lockdown. Ameya. <laughs> Car well, there's, there's no coming back from a statement like that, but warm welcome to all of you uh, here for uh, the 2021 Car and Bike Awards. The auto industry worldwide is thriving on the SUV craze. So begin with a bang. The most popular cars in the market, in the market right now, are the subcompact SUVs. And we are looking at the nominees for the subcompact SUV of the year. Subcompact SUV of the year. Kia Sonnet. Nissan Magnite, Toyota Urban Cruiser. Well, before I announce the winner, let me share our innovation this year. Keeping in mind the need of the hour, there will be no presenter. The sanitized trophy will instead arrive here. And the winner collects it. Hope you all appreciate that. Of course, there will be a picture opportunity right here. We have marked everything right here on the dais. So, let's have someone from Grant Thornton to hand over the envelopes to us as to find out who's the winner. Subcompact SUE of the year is the Kia Sonnet. All right, now on to the next section. That is the compact SUV of the year. And I have the envelope with me, which has the winner's name. And it is the Hyundai Creta. Well, now a look at the nominees for the midsize SUV of the year. Midsize SUV of the year. MG Hector Plus. Skoda Karak. Volkswagen t rock And the midsize SUV of the year is the Volkswagen t rock Next up is the full-size SUV of the year and the winner is 
the Volkswagen Tiguan All Space. Thank you, folks, for joining us here. And it's the start of the year when I remember having this conversation with Siddharth and saying that, you know, we may not have so many two-wheelers this year, but look where we are. We had so many two-wheelers and we had a lot of fun at the jury meet, of course. Uh, so let's begin with the nominees for the Commuter Motorcycle of the Year. Commuter Motorcycle of the Year. Hero Glamour. Hero Passion Pro. Honda SP125. The commuter motorcycle of the year is the Hero Glamour. Next up is a premium commuter motorcycle of the year award and uh, it goes to the Hero Extreme 160R. Next up is a segment that's uh, shaping up really well and it's been growing by almost 40-50% over the past five years. Uh, let's take a look at the nominees for the entry-level performance motorcycle. Entry Performance Motorcycle of the Year. Bajaj Dominar 250. Husqvarna Spart Pilin 250. Husqvarna Vit Pilin 250. And the entry level performance motorcycle of the year is the Husqvarna Swart Pilin 250. Uh, now we quickly move to a little new segment, a segment that's very close to my heart, uh, Entry Level Adventure Motorcycle of the Year, KTM 390 Adventure. Entry Modern Classic Motorcycle, here are the nominees. Entry Modern Classic Motorcycle of the Year. Honda Highness CB350. Jawa Perak. Royal Enfield Meteor 350. The winner in this closely watched category is Royal Enfield Meteor 350. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shams Razan Nakvi, and I'm going to take you through the next set of awards. Scooter of the Year. Aprilia SXR160 Aether 450X Bajaj Chetak Okinawa Light Honda Activa 6G TVS IQ Yamaha Fasino 125 Yamaha Ray ZR 125 so Those were the nominees for the CNB Scooter of the Year and let's see who's won this big award 
and it is the Aether 450X. The cruiser of the year, the big mighty BMW R18. Please come onto the stage to collect your trophy. Congratulations BMW for that award. And now another super hot category, the super bike of the year. Let's see who the winner is. And this one goes to the Ducati Panigale V2. Let's move to the cars from two wheelers. And so, a segment that gets the volumes and helps the brand shaping too. Fully loaded and very versatile premium hatchbacks. And let's see who the winner is. The premium hatchback of the year goes to the all-new Hyundai i20. And one more from the car space, one more segment that saw the buyer return this year. With some facelifts and new models, we have the compact sedan. The winner, I think, is no surprise. It is the Honda City. Now, of course, we move on to the next set of awards. The first one is the middleweight sport motorcycle of the year. And the winner is the Triumph Street Triple R. Congratulations. All right, so the one segment I think that's really popular amongst our team is the Adventure Motorcycle. Let's take a look at the nominees. Adventure Motorcycle of the Year. BMW F900XR. BMW S1000XR Ducati Scrambler 1100 Pro Honda CRF 1100L Africa Twin Triumph Tiger 900 So a lot of nominees there, the award goes to the BMW F900XR. So the next one, you already saw a glimpse of these in the scooter segment before. A category that is gaining popularity, it is also a new segment for the awards. EV Two Wheeler of the Year Aether 450X Ampere Magnus Bajaj Chetak Okinawa R30 TVS IQ First ever EV two-wheeler of the year is the Aether 450X. It is now turn to move to the hot category, the off-roader SUV of the year. Yes, true blue SUVs that aren't just born for the road, but can tread anywhere. Off-roader SUV of the year. Mahindra Thar. Land Rover Defender. MG Gloucester. Well, I have the name of the winner here. The off-roader SUV of the year is the Mahindra Thar.
Now we move on to the entry premium car of the year category. A category that stays agnostic to body style and allows the buyer to step into premium brands with attractive products. Well, and the winner is the BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe. And now, the nominees for the Luxury Car of the Year. Luxury Car of the Year. Audi A8 L. Audi RS7. BMW 8 Series Grand Coupe. Well, well, a lot of competition there. And the luxury car of the year is the Audi A8L. Now the categories that got, uh, that get a lot of attention from our viewers, but also our jurors. And all of us at the jury meet next, the performance car of the year. And the, this time we had some great turnouts. And I can tell you, was surely super closely fought. So I am curious to know exactly who the award goes to. So the performance car of the year goes to is the BMW M8. Congratulations. And now the second drool worthy category. Here are the nominees. Sports Car of the Year Ferrari F8 Tributo Ferrari Roma Ferrari SF90 Stradale Porsche 911 Turbo S Lamborghini Huracan EVO RWD. Well, and the winner of this category is the Lamborghini Huracan EVO RWD. that had a mere few players and is now jam-packed with options for the buyer. Even more got added this year and they help expand the luxury pie in India. Take a look at this. Premium SUV of the year. Audi Q8. BMW X6. Land Rover Defender. Mercedes-Benz EQC. Porsche Cayenne Coupe. Mercedes-Benz GLE. Mercedes-Benz GLS. SUV of the year is the Land Rover Defender. I've been told Siddharth is coming to take the award on behalf of Land Rover India. Please do the honors. It's one of the rare times that I get to take a trophy. Uh, I had promised them that if they win, since they have the COVID protocols to follow, uh, they couldn't be here today and so they had made me promise. Now I have to figure out how, what I exchanged the trophy for. And if that did not take the temperature up in the room, these SUVs certainly will. Nominees for the Performance SUV of the Year. Performance SUV of the Year. Audi RS Q8. BMW 
BMW X3M. BMW X5M. Mercedes AMG GLE 53 Coupe. Well, a whole lot of horsepower there, and the winner is the BMW X5M. And finally, the last of the high end SUVs. This one is the luxury SUV of the year, and it is the Aston Martin DBX. Our viewers choice awards are the most voted ones always have been and those who voted for the winning products get a chance to win some big big prizes let us take a look at the nominees for the viewers choice gadget of the year cnb viewers choice gadget or tech of the year hyundai creta for inbuilt air purifier Kia Sonic for 10.25 inch touchscreen interface. MG ZS EV for iSmart 2.0. Nissan Magnite for digital instrument cluster. Royal Enfield Meteor for the Tripper app. Tata Nexon for IRA connectivity suite. So here you, we have to tell you, we do not get a chance to vote for any of these. So with a total of 1,15,192 votes, the CNB Viewer's Choice Gadget is the Hyundai Creta with the built-in air purifier. And the first runner-up actually is the Tata Nexon Ira Connect with Ira Connectivity, which received 30,000 votes. Thank you very much, Thank you. Garden Bike, for this uh, huge honor. And it's always a privilege at Hyundai. We have always tried to bring in new technologies. And uh, we are always guided by our global vision of progress for humanity. And we assure you that we will continue to do our bit yeah. in really making people connected. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you so much. The nominees for the Viewer's Choice Scooter of the Year are CNB Viewer's Choice Scooter of the Year. Aether 450X. Bajaj Chetak. Hero Destiny. TVS IQ. Winner of the CNB Viewers Choice Scooter of the Year is the Aether 450X again. Thanks everyone for this award. We are a young company and it's, it's, it's fantastic to be here. And it's fantastic because, um, you know, for the first time I think we're competing against petrol and EV. Usually we got a lot of awards in the EV segment, so this is a little special. So thanks everyone. Now on to the motorcycle, uh, the Viewer's Choice Motorcycle of the Year Award and here are the nominees. CNB Viewer's Choice Motorcycle of the Year. Hero Extreme 160R. Honda Highness CB350. Honda Hornet 2.0.
KTM 390 Adventure. Voting indeed for even the motorcycle class. Uh, second runner up is the Honda Highness CB350. Congratulations. First runner up, KTM 390 Adventure. And the winner is again the Hero Extreme 160R with over 1 lakh 18,000 votes. Please say a few words about the Extreme 160R, something which you've been intimately involved in developing for India. <laughs> no, I think. What is great is actually what we wanted to do with Extreme 160R is uh, bring excitement to as many people as possible. So this, uh, this award is actually the recognition. Thanks a lot. Super. Congratulations again. So now that we are done with gadgets, motorcycles, scooter, it's the big one of course. The viewer's choice, car of the year. We've received over 2 lakh uh, votes for the scooter of the year, but also more than 2.5 lakh for cars. So here are the nominees. CNB Viewers Choice Car of the Year. Honda City. Hyundai i20. Mahindra Thar. MG Hector Plus. Nissan Magnite. Tata Altraz. Well, this is really exciting because we had a lot of voting happening in this department. So let me talk about the second runner up first is the MG Hector Plus. The first runner up is the Mahindra Thar with 38,000 votes. And the winner with a staggering 1,14,574 votes is the Honda City. Thank you very much uh, viewers, uh, this is uh, amazing. Uh, I think we were against some really formidable competition and this is testament to the fact that City is a really huge brand in India. Thank you very much everybody, thank you. The grand finale. Here are the nominees for Two Wheeler Manufacturer of the Year. Two Wheeler Manufacturer of the Year. Aether Energy. Bajaj Auto. BMW Motorrad. Hero Moto Corp. Honda Motorcycle and Scooter India. Royal Enfield. TVS Motor Company. Like I do every time at the awards, I want to clarify, this isn't just about your sales performance. It isn't just about a product. It's everything that these manufacturers have done. And it isn't every manufacturer, as you saw. It's also the first time in the two-wheeler space that we got such a fantastic variety. Look at those manufacturers. We've never had that kind of a group. So quick round of applause, please. And now, without stretching this further, two-wheeler manufacturer of the year. My hands are shaking. I'm trying to know who's won. <laughs> Who? Two wheeler manufacturer of the year, Royal Enfield. This 
is such a pleasant surprise, really awesome. I think a big call out to all our teams, um, our entire manufacturing team in Chennai, our teams in UK and here in Gurgaon. Um, super thrilled. Thank you so much. Please tell Sid we miss him. <laughs> and especially when things like this happen. It's, it's, it's great. Awesome, man. Congratulations to you. Okay, let's take a look at the nominees for Car and Bike Two Wheeler of the Year. Two Wheeler of the Year. Aether 450X. Hero Glamour. Hero Extreme 160R. Husqvarna Svartpilen 250. KTM 390 Adventure. Royal Enfield Meteor 350. I heard Gul asking Rayo, any guesses? So, any guesses? <laughs> Come on. You wrote all of those. Yeah. Therefore, the word guess. Okay, let's see. Um, so, with 44 points out of a total 60, the second runner-up is the KTM 390 Adventure. A round of applause for KTM. That was quite a field there. Uh, this is pretty special, and, and, and it's kind of doing a number on my head. I can't believe this. Uh, the first runner-up with 50, sorry, 46.90 points, separated by a few decimal points. This has never happened before. We've always had at least two points. 46.90, and the winner has 47.15. That's crazy. The first runner-up is the Aether 450X. You have to give it up for Aether. <laughs> this is a brand that, you know, nobody would have imagined would be up here, and to be the first runner-up, huge congratulations. The winner with 47.15, Royal Enfield Meteor 350. So many big honors. I just, we just wish our uh, larger team was here. And uh, that's the sign of the times. Of them, yes. But a word about the motorcycle. Such a special product for you this year. Yeah. Absolutely. So, <laughs> no, it's absolutely a, such a special product for the team inside, for, for the viewers. You know, the consumers have absolutely lapped it up. It's extremely uh, heartening to see the, the response that we've got from Meteor. So, extremely happy and very thankful for it. Our jury lapped it up too. Congratulations. <laughs> Royal Enfield with its meteor has zipped right to the top on that pile and so close, so close. You know, I mean, I love, I love it when it's close, but this one has got me Fox. I can't get over it. It is continuing to get hotter in here without much ado then. Nominees for Car Manufacturer of the Year. Car Manufacturer of the Year. Hyundai Motor India. Kia Motors India. Mahindra and Mahindra. Maruti Suzuki India. Nissan India. Tata Motors. You know the cliche about it's just an honor to be nominated? I mean, I have to tell you, in this category, it is an honor to be nominated. Each of these companies did something very special this year, uh, something that really deserves the recognition of getting into that. Like I said, every manufacturer in the market is not on that ballot. So again, a round of applause for all those nominees, please. And uh, all right, let's see who's won. <laughs> the winner for Car Manufacturer of the Year, Kia Motors India.
really appreciate it, uh, Mr. Shidras and the uh, jolly members of the Kayan Bike for this recognition. As, as you know, the, we are launching the very difficult times our sonnet in the last year during the peak time of the Corona COVID-19. But uh, after launching, the, we received a huge love from the market and uh, our customers. So on behalf of the Gear Motors, uh, I want the commitment that we will continue to effort our best to supply the best value of the vehicle to the market and to the customers to experience the best uh, driving experience. Thank you so much. Let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen, at the nominees for the Car and Bike, Car of the Year 2021. Car of the Year. BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe. Honda City. Hyundai i20. Hyundai Creta. Kia Carnival. Kia Sonnet. Mahindra Thar. Volkswagen Tiguan Allspace. Volkswagen T-Rock. Some of those names, previous generations have won this award. Some names for the first time showing up, and some showing up after a long time in terms of brands, of course. Let's take a look at who has won. The Car and Bike Car of the Year, 2021. Okay, once again, second runner-up with 42.55. Quite a surprise and a happy one, the Volkswagen T-Rock. Congratulations to VW, one of the brands that showed up on this ballot after a long time. The first runner-up with 43.20 points out of a total 60 <laughs> is the Honda City. Many congratulations to Honda. And the winner with 46.68. So my math is never that strong, about three and something points separating the winner from the first runner-up is the Kia Sonnet. I was looking at this launch uh, from the outside uh, while I was on the other side, and I think uh, they really rocked it, and I think it's a very, very well-deserved award. Uh, so thank you to everyone who was part of uh, the uh, nominating uh, nomination team, and uh, thank you for selecting uh, Kia Sonnet as the car of the year. Thank you very much. It's the first time we have a Kia winning car of the year at Car and Bike, so many congratulations, and thank you all for being here, many congrats. And you know, we have a tradition here where we always invite you for that socially distant, photo well, this year it's socially distanced, for, the, for that whole class of 2021 photograph. So we're gonna sort that out, but uh, I'm just gonna ask Nalin to come up here one more time. And just don't leave the room yet. Those of you with wins this afternoon, the only request I have is for any trophy you may have won, uh, it would be just one person, please, for the photograph. So we can choose while I invite Nalin for some final words. I wish to thank and congratulate all the winners, all the nominees, and everybody who was not a part of the nomination list, but is a very much a part of the auto industry. Look forward to more action over the next 12 months. Thank you, all of you, for joining us, for motivating us.